Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in. If you watch the channel on a regular basis, you probably know that not too long ago, I did a video on how to rig a NACO rig and where and when to fish it. At the time, I didn't talk about hook placement at all, and I've had several questions from you guys out there wanting to know where I put the hook. And there's no simple answer. I, I kind of have three general areas that I put the hook in a NACO rig. And for those of you that don't know, a NACO rig is just a soft stick bait where you insert a nail weight into one side, and then when it falls, it falls at a faster rate, stands relatively upright, and you take your, your whatever hook that you want to use, and then you know insert it and you can use it basically as a wacky rig on the bottom it's a really really good technique one that i use to catch a lot of fish and you know it just is a great great technique for getting bites so i've got three hook placements as to where i put the hook in my nako rig the first is just right pretty much in the center just at the top or depending how you look at it if the top of the worm is the fat part it would be at the uh the bottom of the egg sack this is a berkeley max scent general so I, it's basically the center part of the wacky rig and the reason for that and this is probably the best all-around place to put it that way you get a good rate of fall it'll stand upright and when you work it you're going to get a good amount of shake out of the bait you know what happens is you don't get as much movement out of the bottom of the bait because you've got a weight in the bottom and that just slows down the movement here. Most of your movement's coming from the top of the bait. So that's the best all around place. Your hookup percentages are really good. Uh, the fish, you know, if they eat the bait are gonna get it in their mouth and you should be good to go. But there are times I like to put it at the bottom and times I like to put it at the top. So specifically, if I'm getting short strikes, I will move the hook upright. And what I mean by short strikes are when the fish aren't really trying to eat the bait, a lot of times they'll grab it just on the tail and swim off with it. Uh, that happens a lot when you're bed fishing. It just happens a lot when the fish are real pressured or not just not an aggressive mood. So by moving the hook up, what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow the fish that's grabbing the tail to have a better shot at grabbing the hook and therefore you're hooking the fish what it's going to take away is a lot of your movement you're not getting when you pull it you're not getting nearly as much movement out of the worm so it becomes a, a a much less aggressive bait as well which can be really good in those circumstances when the fish are not active and they don't want something that's really just going crazy on the bottom the other time i like to do this is if i'm fishing really really deep water by moving the hook up you get a much straighter fall, which therefore means the bait falls faster to the bottom. So I like doing it in that instance as well. Um, if you have it down at the bottom, which would be the third location, you get more movement out of your bait on the fall because it, it's almost acting more as a gliding motion because your line is pulling up on the bait. No matter how much slack you give it, you're gonna have more tension from your line, wanting to pull the, the bottom of your worm where the weight is upright which is going to give you more gliding motion that's a really good way to generate bites as well so if i'm fishing suspended fish i'll usually move the hook down into the bottom because that way i'm getting more i'm getting a slower gliding fall which will generate more strikes usually from suspended fish the other thing that i like about this is if the fish are aggressive you're going to get better hook sets with the hook towards the bottom because when the fish bites they almost always go for the head so they'll come down and they'll suck at the bottom and because of that they're going to pull the weight part is is going to get pulled into their mouth which is going to bring the hook in so when they're really aggressive fish that hook and the weight are going to go further back into the mouth at that point which should give you theoretically better hookups uh you know really when I have it hooked here, it's generally just because I'm fishing more suspended fish and I wanna get more glide. I would say 70% of the time I've got it hooked in the center part of the worm because that's just a good all around place. The other thing I wanna note is when you do have it hooked down towards the weight, you're gonna get maximum movement out of your worm. So when you pull it, when you pull it, the top part of the worm is gonna go all over because you're down by the weight. So there's way more movement 
out of that worm when you do that. And it's another reason if the fish are really aggressive, it's a good way to go. So I hope this tip was helpful. If it was guys, hit the like button, share it on your social media pages, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching, new tips and tricks come out every day.